The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. One of the most ferocious forms of punishment, torture. Jesus endured physical pain. Although Jesus is God, he did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave. He was born in human likeness, became like one of us. Jesus Christ, God, knows all about pain and suffering. He endured terrible physical pain in the scourging at the pillar. One can speculate that other than giving us an example of how to endure pain and suffering, perhaps he was expiating for sins against the flesh. Perhaps the most common of all serious sins nowadays, all kinds of sexual sins, abuses, all kinds of aberrations. It was not the Romans who inflicted that punishment on Jesus. It was not the Jews who inflicted that punishment on Jesus. It was us, sinners. And yet he bore it patiently. He suffered for us by his stripes we are healed, Scripture says. Jesus, though he was rich, became poor in order to enrich us through his poverty. In meditating on these mysteries and in praying this way, we have to try to bring it alive. It's not merely events that happened 2,000 years ago. They are things that actually happened 2,000 years ago, to be sure. But we have to bring it into our own life. How is it relevant for you and for me? Become one with Jesus in his passion, in his death, in his resurrection. He's with you. You were baptized into him. Wherever one of us is, there Jesus is made present. There's power enormous power in redemptive suffering. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen.